Number seven, find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts. Well, um, 5x minus 6y is 30. If we let x be 0, let's see what this gives us here. It's a very easy thing. When you let x be 0, we're going to plug in 0 in here in place of the x. Then 5 times 0 is 0. Okay. So you in, effect, in effect, you're going to say negative 6y is 30. Then when we divide by negative 6, we get y is minus 5. Now this is the point 0 minus 5, which becomes your y-intercept. That's where it crosses the y-axis. So this is one of my this is my y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, instead of uh, x being 0, we're going to say let y be 0. In this case, I have 5 times x minus 6 times 0. Instead of 6y, we have 6 times 0. Then I have 5x and 6 times 0 is 0. 5x is 30. Divide both sides of the equation by 5 x is 6, so my point now is 6, 0. That becomes my x-intercept.